God, there is a lot here. YouTube. Well, if somebody is interested, I have just left mile zero of the Alaska Highway, but this is my view for the next 20 hours, 10 hours, whatever. Hey up, good morning YouTube. I've got a lovely campsite for you today. Uh, I'll turn you around. That's where I am. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous view. That I have. It's uh, not bad at all. No, I didn't go for a swim. It's not over that cold. But you see how murky and muddy it is. And I saw a beaver swimming up here, here, here earlier. But it's about half past seven in the morning. Maybe eight o'clock. There's somebody else camped over there. But yeah, cloud in the sky look. You gotta love Canada. I'm in British Columbia. Uh, I should be going out of British Columbia today. Going onto the Yukon. No, signpost forest. That's where I'll be going today. And then I might stop around there for a couple of days yet. I don't know. Right, we should see you right at I think this site, I don't know if it's the exact site or if it's one uh, just down that track. It might be this one. But it's possible it could be down that track where Kevin and Sarah and little Caroline stayed. From Lifestyle Overland. Hey, catch you later. Bye, bye. Yo, YouTube. Another exciting time again. Uh, beautiful mountains. I'm still on the Alaska Highway, and I have found another abandoned building, garage, pump, motel, calf. So we're going to have a wander around here. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully no bears or cougars. Oh. Seems a bit of a log cabin jobby. Eh? Yeah, the floor's a bit knackered. to be fair mm. let's go and get my bear spray uh, somebody's been having a, a smashing time Smashing time. Mm, got to be so careful. Looks like if it's rat, rat poo or something all over the place. It might be bird poo. It's not very, very safe.
It's really thick glass because it's it looks like it's mirrored glass as well. To Alaska. Yep. To Alaska right. I just find this fascinating. All the stuff that's just been left. A diesel cylinder red. <laughs> that's that off. Yeah, must must be the generator shed. <sighs> mm. Oh, caravan. Well, that's quite a big building, that. That one's knackered. Huh. I think this one's knackered as well. I'm going to turn me white. No, it's creeping. Yeah. I think the roof's gone on this. I can feel that floor going down a bit. Is that oh, that fire? This is that a fire in here at some point? How blackened it is. And that stuff that's still left. A lot of stuff in there. Just makes you think whether it's an insurance job. Oh, look. I think going across there. There's nothing under it. She's going to be so dodgy and very careful on this floor. Yeah, so it's had a fire at some point. That's cool. You come round into the little old motel room down the side, look. That's why it's so big. It's 
pile of beds up. Cupboard in the shower, tiny little, tiny little rooms. Floor's gone there. Oh, there's some bits that look a bit far too dodgy to get in because the floor's completely gone. This one's around the back. Anyway. Horror movie. Again. That's not spooky at all. <laughs> Ooh, that floor is really, really soft. So, you can see there's nothing under this. I'll put paperwork. And it's got a loft up where I look. We had more paperwork and books and stuff. But yeah, this is obviously the administration jobby. See? I can see the date. Ninety-five. Solid book. Card receipt. This floor is so, so dodgy. Dark and spooky. Alright, so that's. I took a video from there up here. back up leave it as you found it all right so this is the hot water system yeah I walk through there but that's pretty much as it is so that's pretty much it that's all I can see with that. That's around here. That's very interesting. If you like this sort of shit. Oh, there's a little squirrel. Oh, it's going in. It's going inside. It belongs to the squirrels. Yep. But it is. It's quite, uh, quite jolly. Very well gone. I found some things for 95, so it's been abandoned 20 odd years. I think it's been added on and added on over years. That light bulb might be alright. But it's a beautiful day, and the views it's got is pretty, pretty well cool. Very cool. And I didn't need my bear spray. So. Right, I'm going to do some Instagram shots that you can have a look at. And I'll catch you later. Bye to bye.
done my good deed for today. Uh, I come across a truck. He's an off-road truck. And his uh, rear prop shaft came off at the side of the road. Just coming down off that big hill. Uh, I think I've actually been, all oh, the camera probably filmed it. Uh, not actually filmed it, like 10 minutes in front of me. But at the minute, I'm following this guy. God, the bloody prop shaft was, it was huge and really, really heavy. And he would have seriously struggled getting it on, so between us we manhandled it on and got it on so it worked. Had to do a bit of filing on some splines, but we got it on. And as you can see, he's back on the road because he's uh, heading up to Alaska. And I'll probably end up, I think we're going up Alaska, I think he's going around right about the same time as me, so. Probably see him on the road up there and have a few beers. So I'm just following him now to make sure he's he's okay. Uh, and I think we're gonna stop and have some dinner at a place called Toad Lake. So I'll introduce William his name is, that's it's William, sorry, the person who his name. So and he's just come up from uh, Brazil. So I will see you in a bit. Okay, bye, bye. Made it all the way to the. Sit down there. Yukon. Welcome to the Yukon. It's that little bit where it goes in and back out again and then goes in. Our own on. So, we'll get rid of his face because there's lots of him. So. Fat lad, a world tour is welcome to the Yukon. Well, I'm just trying to find search for spot camp for the night, and I've been coming along this road. Now, mine's a heavy Land Rover, and you see. These tracks here, and there's obviously my tyre tracks there, the cracks there, cracks there, and the sea, the sea down there. So, yeah, all this banking's being washed away. That's what though. But yeah, and it's uh, all the banking up there. So I'm just put some trees so don't go too close to the edge basically. So I'm not. Because I don't want to end up over there like that tree did. Well, I've made it up. It's a bit late really, but after helping this guy with his uh, truck. A bit later what it's be, but I am where I want it to be at the minute and signpost jobby. There it is. Signpost forest. Oh, need to get a sticker. So this is the legend right? Signpost Forest. So, there we are, 
fat lot of oil too. And it is on this big, big sign here. Opposite the arch. <laughs> somewhere to keep for the night I think because I could wander around here for a while so I will see you in a bit I have just left Watson Lake uh, and a reasonably night's nice kit a little bad actually in a quarry oh. um, even though I'm yawning I've just uploaded uh, next week's video that's why I had to wait there until I uh, because I had internet, now I'm stuck behind a truck, which I should have set off a bit further, anyway, never mind. So I've just had a message from a couple, they're up at Dawson City now, and they're heading up to uh, Tuck, so in the next couple of days, so in the next couple of days I should be around there as well, so hopefully we might travel up together, we'll see. Always better in numbers. Great, I shall see you later. Bye bye.